Hello, Jargus here. Welcome back to my Factorio series, The Manhattan Project. Alright, so we've got some electric furnaces going. Uh, this may take a while for them to build up. Um, but I also have some research that I can switch over to now. Uh, I think advanced oil processing might be good to have. Um, that way I can set up my oil a little sooner. Oh well, look, there's coal liquefaction. That's going to be kind of cool to test out. That's pretty expensive though, 10 coal. But that should be uh, self-sufficient because it's producing 35 heavy oil, you see? And it only takes 25 heavy oil. So other than the coal, like you, you just pump in coal and water of course is infinite. Um, so this should be pretty interesting. It's like a new source, but also an infinite, yet another infinite supply. Oil is, of course, infinite already. Okay, so we'll let that run a bit and get on down here. This is looking pretty good. The red circuits or advanced circuits are still on a full belt. So that's a good sign. And plastic is looking pretty healthy as well. Um, oh, let me run up here real quick before I forget. Drop down these lights. Put one right here too. Okay, so we're going to be building up our electric furnaces on this line here for the iron. We need to get just those produced. And as well, you know what I've noticed? I think the map used to go away if you pushed E, and now it doesn't anymore, because I keep doing that. I keep, I keep, I've been that bad habit now, and they switch that around. <sighs> I think I might want to make another one of these. I could... I could do one going this way, and one going that way. That would work. Let's do that. I want to speed this up, because I want to get a lot for... Um, Copper as well, of course. Alright, and I'll just do something like this. And, uh, yeah. The only thing is, I need to get some. Hmm. I do need to get some, um,. And circuits over here. Well, we'll just kind of make it work here. Like I said before, and I'll probably say again, this is not the pretty base. This is the get it done base. So, whatever works. Alright. And we just need some power. Too bad that that's one away. I can't do that either. I mean, that that wouldn't work. I could do a long handed though. Ah. Okay, and do I want to grab some more yellow inserters? Because I think I do. Let's at least have, in, have them being produced. I might I might put these back in. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so what's the problem here? Yep, that's a problem. So that's why you always check to make sure it's running before you walk off. Okay, so we can at least start with uh, 20 that we've got now, and then when we come back up, we should have a little bit more. I still need to kind of figure out what I want to do with these belts. So I'm, I'm started a document that I'll probably put on a Google Docs that um, just every time I'm like wondering or I can't remember what a ratio is or something like that, like uh, how many exactly, how many items per second does this belt or that belt do, um, I'll, I'll just put it on the 
a Google Doc between episodes, and then I just keep saving and updating that Google Doc. All right, what's next? Ooh, look at that. So that's high tech. We're not quite there yet. Speed module, yeah. That's going to be kind of expensive. Hmm. Pretty cool, though. I don't think we really need any of the yellow or high tech science packs yet. I mean, I don't even see it. There's like the first one right there, right? Effective transmission, which gives you beacons. Okay. Yeah, we still got a lot, a lot more left to do for that. Um, any reason why I would want explosives yet? I don't think so. And we can get, uh, yeah, you know, I might want to start on robotics. Might be good. It'll take a while to get that set up anyway. Okay, so we're going to bring down the iron from here and uh, we'll, we want some space right between like this area here, want some space because we might run some rails through here. We might want to have some um, some belts kind of merging together. Like if we have a station over here, we're gonna need to run like four or five, you know, belts. So we'll kind of come down a bit, I think. We can come down a little farther. We have a lot of space, so we don't really have to worry too much. Okay, I think I'll start like right there and. Um, this will be my outside, right? And this will be my inside line. That. Have that one and the outside line. And these will be blue belts eventually. All right, so okay, so now what we wanna do, we're gonna build this for blue belt, even though we have red belt right now. Well, I might, I might at least outline it for blue belt. I might not fill all the way in. Um, so for, the furnaces to belt ratio, what we need is for for red, we need 46, right? So we'll do like 24 on each side. So that means 12, or I mean 24, so that means 12 of these pairs. So one, two, three, four, eight. Oh, I'm not counting correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's 12 right there. We need to double that. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so that's enough for red for if we double that, right? So if we put this column down as well, that'll be red belt. And then if we wanted to keep going, and I'm gonna just go to mark it out, but I'll probably pick these back up. Um, we need a total of like 70 at least. Um, so probably 35 or th we'll do 36 per side. So that's 24. Okay, so uh, 26, 28, 30, 2, 34, 36. Okay, so this will be like right there. And That'll be as far down as it ever comes, because even with blue belt, that'll be, um, it won't be able to go any farther than that on a single belt. So we want the output to be handled beneath this cutoff point right here, right? So any, all the belting to like the main bus or whatever will be um, below that point. But we don't have to go down there just yet. We can kind of start with that. I might go grab some more here in a minute. Anyway, I'm gonna leave those other ones down there. Okay, so now we just got to the power and the inserters. So let's see, these take, um, where is it? Five seconds, right? So that's to, to make. What? What's the crafting time for the actual plates? Is it for steel? It's. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. It's still. You still want to do the yellow, but now I'm, I'm not remembering. If that's if that's true or not.
but we can test that out pretty easily. That's the problem with me in, in this game is that I've looked up these these things when I say I don't remember something. Oh man, I've looked it up so many times and I honestly I just don't remember. I get it mixed up or I just I'm not very good at like remembering stuff like that. If I can look it up, I won't remember it. My brain somehow seems to know that I don't actually have to remember. I don't know if I don't really want to go all the way down. We'll see. We'll wait. Let's put power on this at least. And the only other thing I think we need to do is lights. Okay. And we need to hook up the um, actual ore lines. Okay, where can we do that? Like right here? Let's do one more up. Give us some space. All right. Um, oh no, we don't need to do one more up because we're not we're not adding coal. We can do it like that. Okay. All right. So that should process iron. I will let that start processing iron. In fact. And uh, let's connect that up for now. I'm going to take those so I can move them up since I'm not going to use them. I don't want to accidentally grab them. Take the steel as well. Okay, we just need power now. I think that's a good spot for power. There. Oh my gosh, I did it. Did <laughs> Oh man. Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize because I had so many, I wasn't even thinking about it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And that's that's that hurts. That hurts so much. I was just here just chit chatting and not thinking about it. Oh my goodness. Alright, well, Lesson learned. All right, I'm gonna go drop these off because I just, I even said, right? I don't wanna accidentally use them. Well, that's why, because I will accidentally use them. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, you know, there's nothing for it, but to just pick it up, it's not that big a deal. <laughs> I was not even thinking about it. I just, just on autopilot so hard. I'm gonna move these too, this box. This doesn't even need to be here because I'll just grab it or something someday. All right, I'll put you right, right here. Get in there. I wait, I made way too many of those. I didn't need to make so many. All right. <clears throat> oh, goodness. Do I have any more? Yes, I do. See, that would, I would have gone down there and started using that too. Okay. I'm clear. Oh, boy. there okay all right just a little bit of silliness just a little bit boy that's that that's that's painful that is so painful all right so all we have to do though, because they're, they're wider, we'll lock that in. We have to tear these up, right? And um, move them over one and tear up the uh, inserters as well. And of course the furnaces, but just on this side, the middle stuff can stay there. 
Probably pick up the power poles too. Probably need to move them over. I don't know actually. Okay, let's just see how they how we do. We'll do the rest of these since there's not that many left. All right. Okay, so that will go. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna have to pick up these two. Yeah, just pick up everything. So the only thing I'm not picking up <laughs> is the middle line. Oh my goodness. Help me. Um, no, I don't need that yet, buddy. I need that. So, I can build a steam turbine, a heat pipe, heat exchanger. Is there anything in here that I really need to research first? I don't think so. Well, let's do it. Let's start researching this then. I didn't even realize it was up so quickly. I can attention to that either. All right. So yeah, I think that'd be kind of cool. We can kind of start slowly with the nuclear power and, and just keep using steam engines um, with uh, the boilers as our primary for now and not worry about it too much. Probably go down this line first. But then we can set it up. And the other thing is, you know, I want to I want to set up a lot at some point so that I can be getting a lot of the uranium-238 isotope. Which is the uh, rarer one, I believe. So, um, be kind of good to have that running now. Kind of like the way I treat lubricant is where you just let it run and get built up, so that when you start building blue belt later, it will um, you'll have a cache already. I did like the whole line too. Jeez. All right. We'll come down. We'll, get, we'll, <laughs> we'll do this in parts. All right. Reset. Okay. So let's do it like that. Oops. Wrong way. All right, and then we need. Yeah, I guess I guess I've. No, I couldn't have left the power lines in, but because they their spacing was still off. There we go. Okay. Very good. Wish I had bots for that. Okay, so now they're running at least, right? And by the way, this doesn't change <clears throat> the count. So it will be farther down than um where I left off with the steel furnaces because they're just they're deeper. But it's still not too bad. Come on that. Yeah, it's it'll go down like to there or something like that. Just under the uranium a bit. Okay, so we'll just do like one or two of these until we have bots and can start copying and pasting things. Tempted. That's why I was building bots. Maybe I should have kept with that first. Because it seems like that will be... That'll move things along a little faster. Maybe I should do that. Because I want... I really want the const construction bots, right? Yeah, let's do that. Let's just bail on the nuclear power. We didn't get that far into it. 
and uh, because once I have the, once I've got bots, construction bots I can build with and blueprint with, then everything else will go so much faster. All right, he's up now. I'm getting low on my steel axe. Maybe I will build another one. But I keep having to tear stuff down like this. All right. Oh, great. Actually, we'll grab that and we can just drop it right in. So I need um, 36 per side, right? Um, so I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 16. Okay. 18, 18, 20. Two, four, six, eight, thirty, chop some trees. Here's that coal patch. We're at thirty, so probably pretty good guess, I think, from earlier. Thirty-two, thirty-four, and then that will be thirty-six right here. Okay, well, I'm gonna end the episode here, and in between episodes, I'm just gonna finish up this line because why not? And uh, keep pushing toward bots, and I might want to start seeing about setting some stuff up for for actually producing bots because I'm gonna need lubricant and engines and stuff like that. So. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.